Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to boot Cosmos over the network using what's called a PXE or Pixie boot. This is very useful in debugging real hardware because otherwise you'd have to constantly be burning ISOs to DVDs or CDs or making flash drives and moving them back and forth. By using a PXE or network boot you can just connect a crossover cable and have it transfer over on every build. You can continue to debug over the serial cable. In later videos I'll show this on real hardware. Right now I'm going to show you on VMware. VMware is normally deployed using an ISO, but it can also be deployed using a uh, Pixie boot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up Guess, which is our staple demo. And the most important thing is we're going to check project properties. In here, instead of VMware, we're going to choose Pixie Network Boot. Now we also need to make sure that the debugger is off, because I don't have a serial cable connected for debugging at this time, and it'll get stuck saying, waiting for remote debug connection. By default, it'll uncheck it when you select a, a Pixie boot. So now that we've selected that, all we need to do is make sure that Guess is in fact the startup project, which it is. And now we're just going to run it. And what's going to happen is it's going to build it, it's going to create all the necessary files for a, a Pixie boot, and it's also going to start the Cosmos Pixie server. So it's all set up, it's a one-time server, it will handle the DHCP, it'll handle the transfer, everything. And after it sees the transfer is done, it'll even automatically close up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I have a, a ready-made instance of VMware, which is set up for network booting. Now the BIOS in VMware by default has Pixie booting enabled, but what you do need to do is you do need to set up a separate network. You're always going to want to keep your Pixie boots on a separate network so they don't interfere, especially with the DHCP assignments. So what I've done in this case is I've set up another network on VMNet 9. Now if you're going to do this, it's real easy to do. You just have to add a network, set it to host only, make sure it's connected to the host virtual adapter so our Pixie server can talk to it, uncheck use a local DHCP service. We're not going to let VMware assign the IP address to our guest operating system. Part of the Pixie protocol is we have to do it. Now the second thing here under that under DHCP is we need to make sure that the subnet IP is 192.168.42.0. Now this is probably a subnet you're not using. Currently this is hard-coded. In the future it'll be configurable. You can see our Pixie server up here shows it's looking at 192.168.42.1. Again, that's currently hard-coded. So now that that's set up, we have VM Pixie here. And all I'm going to do is press start. It's going to come up, look for a Pixie server. First is going to try and get an IP. Got the IP. You can see it transferred. And here, we've automatically booted, and here's our kernel. Now you can see the Pixie server is going to automatically close down as well, because it hasn't seen any activity. Thank you for watching the demo.